So life is short. We can either let life pass us by or we can make each and every single moment count. Which is why in this video, I thought of sharing with you guys some thoughts, some activities, some ideas that have helped me make my life so much more meaningful, so much more happier and so much more amazing. So maybe grab yourself a cup of tea and maybe sit with me. Let's have a nice discussion about life and how we can make it more meaningful and let's get into it. That's really good. So let's start this discussion with a small story that I have. And the story involves two people that were together in a hospital. And one person had the window side and the other person was adjusting to the person who had the window side. So the person on the window side would tell his friend about all the beautiful views he's seeing. Sometimes it was friends talking to each other. Sometimes it was just the spring season and all these amazing pretty views. His friend who was listening to all these stories would initially get very, you know, fascinated by what's on the other side. And he used to, you know, really look forward to listening to these stories. But one one day what happened was he slowly started to grow envious of this friend of his who had the window side and he was like why is he getting to see all the amazing views even I want to be involved in this process and even I want to see all these views and he just started to become really really jealous of his friend so one day what happened was that the friend on the window side fell ill and he really needed some medicines or he really really needed some help and the other friend he saw what was happening but he didn't help him because he was just so so envious of him and then eventually the person on the window side had passed away the next morning and the bed was empty so the other person asked the nurse if he could get the window side and, and the nurse obviously obliged and as soon as he came on the window side he was so so excited to see what's on the other side and he was so excited to you know live these beautiful views for himself and when he actually saw outside the window he was just shocked because there were no views to begin with. It was just a plain winter day with just mushrooms and leaves all on the ground. And there was no scenery, there was no garden, there were no people, all these things that the person was describing. And that is when he realized that this person was not really seeing any views at the time. He was just describing it to his friend in a new way just to make him a little happier and just to give him a little life. And because of these views, this person was always excited to you know wake up every single morning and know about what's on the other side. But in actuality, there was really nothing. And I think this story teaches us this one thing about perspective and this one thing about looking at things from a newer perspective so even though there was no greenery or no scenery or nothing over there just the thought of it made this other person really really happy and if you think about it in life we often have these two choices right we can always look at a situation from a negative lens and see all the negative aspects of the situation and we can you know dwell on it and be sad or we can just see the positive aspects of it because Believe it or not, everything in life will have a positive meaning and will have a positive lesson that it's teaching you, even though it looks negative in the moment. It's always about changing your perspective, changing your lens on the situation and looking at it from a positive lens. And I think I heard this quote somewhere that is that we suffer more in our imagination than we do in reality. And if you just understand that all these things that we're making up in our head are just our thoughts and they aren't real and these things are never really going to happen, we will become a lot more calmer and a lot more happier. If you look at life, on earth in general it's eternity right and then when we compare our existence to eternity we are just a tiny minute blip it's like this small stroke of paint on a canvas right it is that tiny so why would you want to spend your entire life this really 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 small blip of your existence being worried because before you know it it will be over so let's enjoy this little tiny blip that we have and live it to the best of our capability that brings us to our next point and that is to practice tough love so the thing is the whole concept of self-love or the whole idea behind self-love was that you love yourself so much that you know yourself from within and you know exactly who you are and you wouldn't let anyone cloud that perception of yourself and you will always do what's right for you and you will always stand up for yourself that was the only meaning of self-love but now what the idea of self-love has become on social media and so many other platforms is that you love yourself so you wouldn't let yourself be in any sort of pain even though that pain will be helpful for you in the future and you love yourself so you'll take some breaks and you'll take a lot of breaks maybe you'll take the entire month as a break but like even though these practices sound good on paper like these practices are not actual self-love gestures because the thing is our bodies and our our human minds are meant to grow and we are meant to outgrow our previous self that is just how we are built and when we live in the state of not really working on ourselves or not really trying to push ourselves to do more 
we sort of become stagnant and that hurts us so much in the long term and a person who you know falls into this construct of self love and doesn't really do that they just remain stagnant for the rest of their lives and then uh, after like 10 years 20 years 50 years they look back and they'll say i wish i was tougher on myself or i wish i did more things that my soul wanted to do but i was scared of doing you know that's what living is you know being tough on yourself is actually a very very loving exercise so from today try practicing some sort of tough love on yourself okay do those things that scare you don't give up when you're tired try to push yourself try to build yourself because tough love will always build character and the more you practice tough love the closer you get to your higher self and trust me your future self is thanking you right now if you're practicing tough love on yourself and will always always pay off now coming to the next point that is to always maintain a journal so journaling is just one of the best tools that you can have with yourself in order to add more meaning into your life so basically what journaling helps us to do is in a day we have a lot of thoughts we have a lot of insights we have a lot of you know problems and these things that we can't really figure out and all these things are very very individual to us and when we actually document these things on paper you know we actually become aware of these thoughts and we actually start to realize who we are as a core and this exercise will literally make you more wiser and more calmer every single day and the thing is that when you journal you start to realize why you think the way you think why you feel the way you feel and who do you actually resonate with who do you not resonate with and because of these insights you tend to become so much more self aware so much more aware of what you really want in life which will literally lead you to join the right career for yourself to you know find the right partner for yourself to find the right relationships for yourself to find the right friendships to find the right everything right because once you know who you are you also know what you want and when you know what you want you will definitely go for it and then you'll actually get it and this entire exercise even though it's so small and it's so like you know i'm just writing my thoughts down it literally builds up every single day and you start to realize exactly what you are meant for exactly who you are and you start to go in that direction and that direction will make your life obviously more meaningful and when you look back maybe after 10 years you'll be like I really knew who I was and I really knew what I wanted to do and I went for exactly that and I did exactly that. So that brings us to our next point and that is to always be truthful. So what I mean by this is the first thing is to not make any empty promises. So by empty promises what I mean are these promises that we know that we won't be able to fulfill but we just you know make it because like it's not really hurting anyone or you we don't just really keep our word and that is just not a good good look right because how many times have you made plans with people and you've told them yeah I'll be there like on Friday yeah I'll definitely be there and then you can't last minute even though these things don't really affect people on a very deep level it definitely leads to you losing credibility when you lose credibility people lose trust in you and people will start to trust you a little less or each time you cancel plans and then maybe they won't trust you at all the best thing is to just say no okay if you really know that you're not going to be available at that party if you really know that you're going to cancel last minute the best thing is to just learn to say no gracefully just politely decline and say that you know i am very busy and i appreciate your plan but i want you to make it or you know just just say no right or just say that i'll let you know but never make empty promises and then not fulfill on them and the second thing is to not be that person who is all talk and no show so what i mean by this is there are so many people they will like you know i'm starting this new activity uh, i'm starting to work out i'm starting to do this and then you know you will meet them one week later and you'll be like you know how's the progress going and you'll be like yeah i didn't really you know perform on that i didn't really do that so if you think that you won't be able to perform something then don't brag about it and what i highly suggest is to actually do the thing so if you really want to start a business or if you really want to start a new thing or you really want to you know start a new lifestyle then what is ideal is for you to actually do it to actually live it and to not talk about it at all like keep it private keep it to yourself and just get better at becoming it instead of talking about it and once you're actually there and then when people see you they'll naturally ask you you know like you look really fit or uh, well, like what's your secret and then you can tell them and you can tell them what you did be humble about it whatever like just tell them honestly what you did you'd rather want to be a person of your word than to be a person who's all talk and no show and now coming to the last point and that is to always celebrate small wins so small wins are all these small personal wins that you can't really share with people because they aren't really big enough to share with others but you know that, that means something to you so instead of just shoving it down instead of just you know acting like yeah this doesn't matter like this is so small like why would i even be happy about it just celebrate it okay like um i think today we hit a 100 subscribers on the channel and I was just so happy and I know this is not a very big milestone that I'll share with others and I'll be like you know I got 100 subscribers and I'll send screenshots and stuff no like obviously 
it's a small milestone but it is a milestone that means something to me right it is something that i've been working towards so i was really happy like i i did my happy dance i celebrated it i did all the things that made me happy and i just made sure to make it better from here and like you know i told myself that i'll be up for an onwards from here and that is the beauty about small wins because these small wins are always private to you and no one can really know about them and people will know about your big win about the thing that you actually achieved the things that you can talk about but these things will stay with you and these small wins will accumulate together one day to form a big win so instead of waiting to celebrate that big win just start celebrating these small tiny wins because maybe that big win doesn't give you the satisfaction that you were looking for it's always these small wins that give us the satisfaction and the big win is for everyone else the big win is for your family for your friends to see so you know how many of these do you like and if you want me to make this a monthly series because i really have a lot more and i would love to share those as well so if you really like this video then maybe give this video a big thumbs up and if you're interested in more life lessons about productivity about life about meaning then do hit the subscribe button because i make two videos a week and i make videos about all this amazing stuff so if you're interested in that then yes please hit the subscribe button and yes thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you on my next one